Welcome to the VR Cauldron where we are looking at this facial interface from AMVR. If I had complaints about the original facial interface that comes with the Quest 3, one would be that it's a bit big, so it kind of pushes the lenses a bit further away from the face than possibly they need to be. And I would like to get them as close as possible so you get this bigger field of view. The other complaint I'd have is although it's fairly comfortable, if you're playing a game that could get a bit of a sweat on, for example, VR boxing, like Thrill of the Fight, or Beat Saber, or other rhythm games, then you're going to sweat. And because it's made of sponge, you're gonna gradually get sweat going into the spongy material, and it's going to stink eventually. Sorry, mate, it's all right, I don't use that one. I don't know why they went with sponge, possibly because they did a deal where we'll want to buy something from another company at some point. They do do their own, but AMVR's one is good value and it's nice and cheap. So in the box, it comes with the interface itself and it comes with two leather pads that just stick on with Velcro. Now, unlike with the Quest 2, it's not quite as simple as it was before because the Quest 3 actually has eye relief built into the interface, which means that AMVR also needed to make eye relief in there. So I'm gonna rip this off now, and you can see that they do indeed have the eye relief. It's got this little thing here. You gotta kinda of pull it like that. It's not the best, like that. So that's the two top ones, and then the bottom ones, again, it pushes like that and then the bottom one over here in like that it's not quite as refined as the one you get on the original interface from meta but it works however if you're like me you just keep it on the closest one all the time you can just kind of leave it and not worry about it a complaint I would have about this is, once it's on, you can no longer see the eye relief adjustment to adjust it. So you can't really adjust it whilst it's connected. If you want to adjust it, you've got to take it off and then you've got to do all that jiggery pokery and then you're gonna to have to put it back on again. Um, but like I say, I'm always just gonna put it on the closest one and never actually touch it, so it makes no difference to me. But if you're one who's gonna be adjusting it a lot, Maybe sometimes you've got your glasses on, sometimes you don't have your glasses on. You don't, you don't want to have to keep pulling it off and putting it back on again because eventually all the little bits of plastic that are going to clip in to keep it in place, they're going to get loose and they're going to break. It's definitely a cheaper material than the original better one. It's, it's fine, it does the job, it's, got, it's a bit breathable as well because it's got like vents. And I do like this, it's just like any other one that we've seen before for the Quest 2. It repels sweat better than the sponge. Oh, I just had a boxing sesh, got pretty sweaty. Uh, as you can see, you get sweat on it, but it's not too bad. And the great thing is you can just wipe it off and like the sponge one that comes with the Quest, so it's not gonna stink straight away. You can kind of wipe it clean. However, over time, it is slightly porous and it will take it in. So it might start to stink a bit over a long period of time. But if you clean it really well after each use, it, would sh it should be fine. And like I say, it's gonna be a lot easier to clean than the original sponge one from Meta. Now, you could use a silicon cover to go over the sponge. Why wouldn't you do that? Because silicon has got 100% sweat resistance. The problem with that is that with silicon, it kind of just runs down your face a lot more than it does with this. This one's definitely a lot more comfortable than a silicon cover. So yeah, I do, I do like that. So AMVR have done well. I'm sure there'll be more of these coming soon and there'll be different facial interfaces, but as one of the first and a decent price, the AMVR one can't go wrong. There's links down below to AMVR's website. They are affiliate links, so if you do use them, it will help the channel, and I will appreciate it very much. But yeah, facial interface from AMVR does the job, and it's not too expensive. Coming soon, we'll be looking at AMVR's cheap strap and comparing it to this one from Zyber. Who is gonna win the battle of the cheap Quest 3 straps? Don't know.